Open the Hemosep Collection Reservoir packaging and place the small tube into the outlet at the bottom. Ensure that the clamp is closed and the tube is seated securely. Place the Hemosep Collection Reservoir into the holder on the Hemosep Shaker Unit. Open the Hemosep Intraoperative Kit Suction and Aspiration Lines aseptically and pass to the scrub nurse. Have the scrub nurse pass the single piece of red tubing to the circulator and connect this to the reservoir on the port marked suction inlet. Connect the free end to the suction source and set the suction to 150 mm of mercury maximum to prevent cell damage when suctioning shed blood. Have the scrub nurse pass the free ends of the suction and aspiration tubes, red and blue, and connect the red tube to the blood inlet port on the reservoir. Prepare your anticoagulant mixture. This can be 30,000 units of heparin in one litre of normal saline. Insert a giving set into the anticoagulant bag and connect the lure lock to the prime through filter on the top of the reservoir. Open the roller clamp and fill the reservoir until there is 50 millilitres of the solution in the bottom. Disconnect the anticoagulant from the reservoir and connect the blue tube on the suction and anticoagulant tubes. Prime to the end. Set the drip rate of the anticoagulant to one drip per second. Close the on-off switch at the suction wand end. When blood is being collected, ensure the switch is reopened. Open the Hemosep cell concentrator kit and remove the two bags from the box. Open the cell concentrator bag Close clamps B and C. Clamp A is for priming the bag. Clamp B is for connecting the intraoperative kit or cardio pulmonary bypass machine to fill the bag with blood for processing. Clamp C is for draining into the blood transfusion bag after processing. Connect the tubing from the cell concentrator pack to the lure lock on the bottom of the collection reservoir. Prime the Hemosep cell concentrator bag with 100 millilitres of normal saline and close the clamp. Gently rock the bag to ensure the membrane is completely wet and the fluid is absorbed into the centre of the bag. Blood must be added to the bag for processing within three minutes of priming with the saline. Connect the primed blood bag to the blood collection reservoir and open the clamps. Lift the cap on the reservoir vent and blood will flow from the reservoir to the bag. Once the bag is full, replace this cap and continue collection from the surgical field. Observe the scale on the side of the reservoir and close the clamp once 500 millilitres of blood has been added to the cell concentrator bag. Place the cell concentrator bag onto the shaker unit, ensuring that the bag is located on the metal locating studs. Close the lid on the Hemosep shaker and press the start stop button to start processing. The machine will automatically stop after the process has finished. Remove the cell concentrator bag from the shaker. Open the blood collection bag and connect to the lure lock on the cell concentrator bag. Open the clamps and elevate the cell concentrator bag to allow the processed blood to drain to the blood collection bag. Close the clamps and dispose of the used cell concentrator bag in clinical waste. Transfuse the blood to the patient with a standard blood giving set.